This is me at my leanest, and in this video, I hope to share exactly what I did to hopefully help you on your journey. Now, if you took the bulk too far and you're trying to get shredded for summer, then you came to the right video, so keep watching. Now, getting shredded and absolutely diced is not rocket science. It boils down to two words, calorie deficit, consuming less calories than you expend each day. For example, if you're somebody who requires 2000 calories each day to maintain your current body weight and you eat 1500 calories, you're in a calorie deficit. To be in a deficit, you need to know how many calories you're currently maintaining, which leads me to how to calculate your maintenance calories. Now to find your maintenance calories, there are two methods that are commonly used. One is tracking everything you eat for one to two weeks. And the other one is the one I use, which is using an online calculator to estimate it. Now these calculators are gonna ask you questions such as your height, weight, your activity level, and then it's gonna give you an estimation of your maintenance calories, and you can adjust from there. Now once you know your maintenance calories, you want to gradually start reducing the amount of calories you're consuming over time. Now you don't wanna cut your calories too fast or too slow. Aiming for around a pound a week is a pretty good starting point, and you can assess from there. Moving on to nutrition. Now regardless if you're bulking or cutting, you should always try to eat nutrient-dense meals for overall good health. I like to keep my meals simple and eat pretty clean and nutrient dense meals and try to reduce the amount of calorie dense food such as pizza and chips. This is to ensure that I use my calories wisely and I can stay full throughout the day while also getting the necessary energy I need for my workout. Now when I'm cutting 35% of my calories come from protein, 25% come from fats and the rest I fill in with carbs. Protein is super important on a cut. For one, it's the most satiating macronutrient, meaning it's gonna keep you full throughout the day. And two, it's gonna make sure that you retain a lot of that muscle mass when you're on the deficit. Now, carbs are a great source of energy to fuel your workouts in just everyday life, and fats are important for hormone regulation. Here's a complete list of the protein, carb, and fat sources I eat when I'm trying to get shredded. But if you wanna see in-depth meals, let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to make a video on that. Regardless of what meals you end up making, if you're getting enough protein, fats, and carbs, in your meals and you're in a deficit, you'll be in a good place. Now, moving on to training. Honestly, not a lot changes. Overall, it stays pretty much the same. The only difference is sometimes I'll reduce the amount of volume I'm doing each day, and I also won't progress as much from week to week because I'm depriving myself of calories, so you're not gonna be as strong. As for cardio, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I did not do a ton of cardio when I was shredded. Now, doing cardio a few times a week can definitely help you burn more calories, and it's good for overall heart health as well, but it's just something I didn't really pay much attention to. Outside the gym, you can also increase your knee. NEAT stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis, which in essence is basically all the movement you do and all the activity you do aside from actual working out. Now taking the stairs at work, walking your dog more, just moving around in general is going to make sure that you increase your knee, which in return is going to allow you to burn more calories. Now before wrapping up the video, I just want to address mindset. Make sure that you're setting realistic expectations for yourself. Remember, this is a marathon, it's a journey, it's not a sprint and you wanna take your time, don't rush the process. With that said, that's it. This is exactly what I've done to achieve the results I have made, and I hope that you were able to gain some knowledge or value from this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in learning how I built muscle, check out this video right here. I hope you have a great day. Keep chasing your summer bod, and I'll catch you later.